ravaging West Africa to sing a song that would raise the spirits of the people battling Ebola. I actually am standing here very proud, extremely proud as a Sierra Leonean to see that in the midst of this tragedy, we could have Sierra Leonean musicians be hailed on a global platform right on the floor of the General Assembly. It's a very emotional moment for me. I'm extremely proud of the artist with one voice. And from the look on the faces of all the UN ambassadors and the UN Secretary General and his beautiful wife, it's obvious that they had the same experience that every single person in this room had listening to the song by the artists with one voice. That song is the best Ebola song as far as I am concerned and we are all so happy and proud. Um, in terms of the event itself, it's unique. I believe this is one of the an unprecedented Ebola musical com uh, concert right inside the General Assembly. It shows the importance that the United Nations Secretary General has given to the fight against Ebola for him to be here with his wife and convert the General Assembly where we normally have debates on issues into a form of a musical concert where artists from Africa, artists from Jamaica, artists from around the world would come and raise awareness about this dreadful scourge that is killing thousands 
of innocent global citizens. It has been a wonderful night and I feel privileged to have been a part of history in the making. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Abdul Hassan, for give you, giving us this opportunity for close this, this event. Basically, this event for everybody is a success for all of us. For artists with one voice, they've done such a remarkable job with the Ebola song. This guy's wow, the general... Um, assembly at the United Nations. Everybody were on their feet for the performance of Artists with One Voice. Congratulations to Artists with One Voice for performing at this um, stage. This is a wall stage that everybody was, was, was watching them and everybody stand on their feet to, to um, um, give them an applause. This is, this is just the beginning of what um, Artists with One Voice are, are doing. They started with the Ebola song we know this song is going to take them to a level that they did not imagine. It's beyond their imagination where this song is, is going to take them. As far as the event is concerned, I feel very, very proud for we as Sierra Unions, Liberians, Guineans, and Cameroonians who put up an event at the General Assembly at the United Nations. Basically, what the event is about is post Ebola, when Ebola is down. And when Ebola is done does not mean everything is done. The healthcare infrastructure in Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia, it's zero. So after Ebola, what's going to happen? So that's what this event is about. This event is about raising millions, millions of dollars for the orphans in Sierra Leone, the orphans in Liberia, and the orphans in Guinea. And also the building clinics in Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia. So far, the guys have accomplished what they set out to, 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 to do tonight. Ban Ki-moon, everybody, Ben Chavis, um, Samantha Powers, everybody is here tonight speaking towards this cause. There are Hollywood actors, celebrities here tonight speaking about this event. So we like to say thank you very much to everybody. This is the beginning. We're going to keep working and you're going to see more, more of us during this um, um, fight after Ebola. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdul Hassan, for granting us this um, interview. Good evening, everyone. It is I, your boy, MDG, a.k.a. Minister General. Um, we are here at the United Nations. I know a lot of you probably was following us on the Internet, whether it's Facebook, WhatsApp, um, uh, Instagram, and all that. It actually happened. We just actually had the best time of our lives um, performing in front of huge, uh, a beautiful crowd, dignitaries. I'm talking about people from all over the world. It was beautiful. And the main purpose that Brother here, you already know, it's about raising awareness about the Ebola epidemic that hit us hard home, Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone, and not just Sierra Leone, the whole of Africa. So yes, artists with one voice. So we came here, we were invited because of the Ebola song that we did uh, to raise awareness to the relief effort. Um, song was beautiful and it was, put together by different African artists, beautiful singers, including um, Vicky Fauna, Lady Felicia, those are the, um, from Sierra Leone, Siddiqui from um, Guinea, um, Lily Mecca from Cameroon, and um, Brickelia from Liberia, uh, Khalil from Senegal, and the list goes on. But anyways, it's a beautiful song that really touched people, and now we're being invited everywhere to really raise our voice and raise our awareness. And we are the voice of the voiceless. You know, there's a lot of innocent people who, who are losing their lives back home, and we need to really stop this spread of the Ebola, and not just Ebola, let's heal Africa as a whole. 
So um, we we just out here advocating for our people back home because we most of us come from third world countries and we do need the support from the outside world. So um, like I say, it's been a huge honor and a pleasure. We actually, like I say, standing inside of the United Nations um, headquarters, headquarters in New York and they've treated us beautiful. We've had fun and while doing something positive and um, pissing love to everybody out there, um, spread the message, um, stop the senseless wars all over the world. Um, yeah, let's preach love, man. And we're out. Oh, yeah, I have to give a shout out to the manager of our group, Cozy, for helping us get here. And the uh, executive director of it all, uh, Mr. Peter, also Peter Tyong. You know, it was his idea that he, you know, in put this whole song together. You know, he saw a vision and here we are today. A couple months ago, we were still trying to scramble and figure out how to do a song. And today we're getting, we're getting places, so it's beautiful. So um, I, know the, I know I keep going, but thank you very Hello, much. Hello, thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Lily Mika and um, I'm one of the artists in Artists of One Voice. We are here today in uh, the United Nations uh, uh, Congress Hall. It was a great event and uh, we thank God it was a success. Peter Ngu Taeyong, he was the brain behind this uh, whole group. He went out to search for artists who are very talented and who can uh, brainstorm and bring out something great so that we can come up with our voices and fight Ebola through a beautiful song. And um, exactly as he described the words during when he brought us together, like the saying, you know, see where you want to be and it will take you there. Our being United Nations today, it's... Um, it's the vision Mr. Peter Good Time brought before us an idea and it became so broad and today we are here. It was a huge crowd in there performing in front of thousands of people, in front of all kinds of TV channels and uh, all kinds of cameramen. It was a great event and uh, we hope that the world is going to hear our cry and uh, get to um, get more into action. stumbling blocks to worry about each day, like hunger, crime, and injustice. We've seen enough, from senseless wars to extreme poverty. How long shall we perish? How long till the sun shine on this dark continent? We're tired of being weak, vulnerable, and submissive. So today I ask this to the leaders that we elected. What do you do for us? Because right now I don't even know what's worse, Ebola or you that's in power? Generating all this income and accumulating all this wealth right in front of our faces, so don't think you're moving in stealth. Now we are bleeding from the inside while you sit there and watch our bitch in health. But for some reason, I feel like I'm wasting my breath, but I don't care because there's so much beauty in life than death. You gotta live with leaving us jobless. Barely a grain of rice and a droplet of water to survive. And once again, you're failing us by leaving us naked and unprotected to a deadly disease. This time, all we ask is for your protection. How many more lives do we have to lose to get your attention? Ebola, Ebola, you may be silent, you may be painful, you may be weakening and you have hurt us, but as deadly as you are, you will never be able to break us when we're united. So today I plead to my brothers and sisters all across the world, let's come together and help spread the word.